Hello everyone and welcome back to another video with me. My name is Kimmy and today we're going to be talking about some InDesign and table of contents. A table of contents is something that you would use when you're creating a book or a magazine that absolutely needs it. It's not that complicated but it is a little bit tricky to get to so that's what the video is going to be about today. I hope you enjoy so let's get to it. So to help us out in this project today, I'm going to use one of my old designs that I've done. As you can see, I already have a table of contents, so this should be what it looks like at the end. It's not going to be exactly the same because I'm not applying the same knowledge that I did when I created this, but it should give you an idea of how I'm going to go about to create the contents table. You're going to have the title of your pages and the number of pages, plus the title of your table of contents. Uh, as you can see, I have titles already in place in my design, and that's what we're going to be using to go forward with this. So first off, to get started, we're going to have make sure that our character tables, uh, character styles and char paragraph styles are open. To do this, you go in window styles and make sure that they're checked. Then we are going to find the spot that we're going to put our table of contents. So I'm going to put it in this grid that I laid out right down here in the bottom right corner. Now. All of my titles have a title paragraph style right now. Um, this is something I did while I was creating. I decided to do the table of contents afterwards, so it was already done that way. Going to change it to article title TOC, which is table of contents. Technically, you need to create a paragraph style that's going to be for your table of contents, and it's important. Once that's done, you go in layout and you click table of contents. Now I already have this all set up, but the title that you want is contents or whatever you would like. And then you have to find the paragraph style that you assign to your titles and press OK. It's going to come out a little bit janky, but don't worry, we're going to fix it with some character styles. Uh, character styles are kind of important, so I made one for each of them. So I'm going to call them TOC title. I already have like basic character formats that I wanted, which is Abro, Regular, 17, and Auto, plus colors. So you have to figure all of those things out and put them in. Then I did the same thing for article titles. So I wrote talk article, tied article. And then I went and I applied the settings and character formats that I wanted for that part of my table of contents. It's important to have all of these laid out, but yeah. So then I'm going to do the last one, which is the numbers. The numbers is going to be TOC page, which is the page number. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do the character formats. I'm going to set it up so that I can reapply these character styles uh, afterwards. For some reason, I decided to do be really, really difficult with myself in this progress instead of just making my text box bigger and applying all of my character styles to the proper things. I just went individually and waited for it to scroll up. Um, as you can see, don't forget to have your hidden characters also applied with the character styles or else it's going to kind of mess with uh, certain things. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just fixing my mistakes because I was going a little bit fast, making sure that I apply every character style to the proper wording. So I was having trouble here. There was something that was off. It was either my tab, my hidden character, like something in my hidden characters was messing up with my character styles. So I was trying to troubleshoot it. And in the end, what I did is I just applied article to everything. I went back in and I modified my pages. 
you do not need to use uh, character styles if you do not want to. I just do this out of habit. I like character styles. I can apply them afterwards and it comes in handy when you need to update your table of contents because it kind of messes with everything. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do align my numbers to the right. So to do this, you have to press shift control T to bring out this chart, which is the tabs. You're going to press exactly like in the ruler where you want to place your numbers and it's going to add a little arrow at the top and it's going to move it to the side like it just did. Right now I'm just playing a little bit with everything, but uh, this part really comes down to your own knowledge. Like I said, I'm going through this quickly for this video, but I would take particular time to set it up so it's efficient for you. And that does it for our video today about how to incorporate a table of contents in your eDesign project. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and it'll be my pleasure to respond to you. I know this video was a little bit fast paced and I hope that you brought down the speed maybe to help you out. But if I forgot anything and you're asking questions, I visit my page fairly regularly and I am open to answering all of your questions. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped you and I'll catch you next time. Bye.